Hi everyone, it's 6.30 in the morning in Interlaken, Switzerland and we are heading towards the Jungfrau region. Here I am at Gridwall station. So I had already taken the top of Europe ticket from Get Your Guide app but I had to still come to Gridwall station and exchange the ticket into a physical ticket at the counter. So that's what we are doing here. So we'll be taking a cable car Agger Express to Agger Glacier. Month of April and there was no much crowd so we had one cable car for ourselves. When the cable car stops at Eager Glacier, you can have a hike of around 45 minutes to 1 hour to Falbodon Sea Lake. Falbodon Sea Lake is a beautiful man-made lake surrounded with beautiful mountains. Well, Falbodon Sea Lake was on my travel list. So after we have done our top of Europe, we wanted to go to Falbodon Sea Lake but when then we saw that the uh, way is covered with snow and we didn't have the snow boots so we didn't go for that. But you can still see the Falbodon Sea Lake in summers while you're traveling from Rotterdam to top of Europe or your way back. Also, the Falbodon Sea Lake might have been covered with snow, so there was no use going in the month of April. So, so beautiful! What an awesome view! So here we reached Agar Glacier. From here you can take the hike to Falbodon Sea Lake. Here we are walking towards the train station which will be taking us to the top of Europe. Agar Glacier has their own restaurant. While you are waiting for the train to arrive, you can grab some snacks here. So here you can see the train to Jungfrau has arrived and we were so excited that finally we are going to reach to our destination which I have been planning for so many months now. Just cannot wait to reach top of Europe. Eisner Station gives you the opportunity to take your own souvenir image of the perennial ice. We wish you a pleasant trip. Hello. Hi, Hi. So finally I reached at the top of Europe in Frio. I just can't express how excited I am. So we'll be taking a short walk to reach at the top of Europe and you have to cross through this like a tunnel I would say and they have covered this tunnel with lovely pictures of Jungfrau, how it was made and the workers who helped it and everything. So basically when you walk through this tunnel it's telling you the story of the Jungfrau.
is 360 cinematic experience. The Jungfrau panorama provides a 360 degree panorama of the mountain world that you could never see otherwise. This is the start of Ice Palace. It's cold out here. I will not say much, but it is. These are just the stones. Are you guys freezing? So, this is the ice. It's not melting and can't feel uh, anything but it's cold you just need to be careful uh, while walking on the ice it's wonderfully made guys it's so beautiful hello guys Hi. This is a cowing eagle, eagle, another eagle. When you all visit Jungfrau, you all need to take a tour of ice palace with ice scriptures. On a mirror smooth tour through the frosty world, you will discover so many sculptures an eagle, a penguin, or bear as though they had just turned to ice. They appear quite natural. The time required here is around 45 minutes. So we reached Yung Fayo. So the icy air sweeps over your face, snow crunches underfoot, and the panorama almost takes your breath away. You can see the beautiful mountains covered in snow. So we are standing on the Jungfrau, 3,454 meters above sea level. You can fill it with your first step. This is a different world, guys. It's one you have to experience. When I stepped at Jungfrau over here, trust me guys, I couldn't feel my hands. I couldn't even catch the phone in my hand. I couldn't feel my lips. I just wanted to take a picture at the flag, Swiss flag. But I couldn't even do that. I couldn't even smile because it was so freezing and it was snowing also. But yes, overall, it is a great experience. It's like a different world. You need to come and visit here. It's a different feeling out here, guys. It's so, so, so beautiful. Of course, and we are at the altitude of 3,454. So it is beautiful. Well, when you come to Jungfrau, you need to visit the lean shop. That's because it's the highest lean shop in the world. Yes, you heard me right. So it has extensive range of finest lean chocolate and provides exciting insights into chocolate production. And you just need around 10 minutes here. So we were so hungry, it was nearly afternoon and we came to this a latched self-service restaurant. So this restaurant has amazing views, panoramas, mountains that is planted to go around at a large self-service restaurant. 
they also have traditional dishes beer and the top of europe wine and various non-alcoholic boosters so that's what i have taken some fries some chicken so the opening timing of this restaurant is 10 15 to 3 30. honestly this was the best viewed restaurants i have ever been to can you imagine sitting in a restaurant at the top of europe with the attitude of 3454 meters above sea level and having your lunch oh wow it's really beautiful you need to come here so amazing